there's an unusual way to treat burn victims, and it's a lot more um, cheap than you would think. Mm. So this, in um, in certain areas in Brazil, uh, burn victims might not have access to uh, human donated skin or even some forms of animal skin. So a certain other solution was come up with, uh, especially by some of the places where the world's tilapia gets farmed. And that is to use the fish skin um, on the burn victims, uh, whatever has been burned, uh, be it second or even third degree. Let's take a look. <laughs> A pele da tilápia, ela adere na ferida e faz um efeito que a gente chama de efeito tampão. Ela bloqueia a contaminação de fora para dentro da ferida, ela bloqueia a perda de líquidos e proteína pela ferida e ela fica realmente aderida nesse leito da ferida até o processo de cicatrização. So do too, yeah, that looks like, that almost looks like Aquaman yeah. or a merman. Right. Um, but it's it's sterilized tilapia skin and yeah. the collagen and other properties of the skin um, actually make the process a lot less painful than gauze mm -hmm. and cream, which need to be changed frequently and hurts a lot when taken off. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a cool solution to this. So it probably will not happen in the US at any time, uh, but it is a great alternative for any areas that don't have uh, human donated skin or access to certain animal skins which are used in the process. Mm -hmm. this, this is intense stuff. Like we see natural remedies like this mm -hmm. happening more and more as kind of a, a retort to the, the uh, high end healthcare costs for medicines what have you, people are going back to like old school methods, old school techniques of I me mean, being Latino, like my, my mom from Bolivia has like her idea of how to cure certain things. And it goes way back to plants and goes back to roots, goes back to all these things, all these things from nature. So it's not surprising that something like tilapia could be used. And I think it's a great, uh, it's really intelligent of this plastic surgeon to come up with this idea and explore this idea and see what could happen. And you know, for people who are wondering, they do remove the smell of the fish, they sterilize it, you know, it, it goes through this whole process. So don't just, they don't just cut it off the fish and put it on you. There's a no, whole process no, no, no. Yeah, that goes <laughs> on with this thing, like weeks of a process and then it's frozen, then it's flown in and then it's attached. And apparently it can stay on for like two weeks long. Yeah, so instead yeah. of having to rip bandages off every day, this stays on for a long time. So I think it's fantastic. Well, if it's a second degree burn, the skin just stays on until the person scars naturally. Right, right. If it's third, uh, it will be changed over a couple weeks of treatment. Right. Uh, but it does seem to be a far less painful and mm -hmm. is able to keep in moisture under the skin until that uh, skin is able to repair itself. So it, it's a cool alternative for now. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, it looks like what they're trying to do is to conduct studies and work on the comparative cost because it's as John said, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily just fresh fish. It's it's treated, it's yeah. sterilized, um, and using collagen proteins um, and other qualities of the skin itself to help human skin. Mm -hmm. uh, they are hoping to do a process uh, to process the skins on an industrial scale and sell it to the public health system. After that, I just think it's kind of an ingenious method, yeah. especially yeah. It, Brazil is in particular um, low on human skin reserves. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds really gross, but it's an important part of uh, dealing with burns, uh, second and third degree burns. Mm -hmm. And it's it's working with that in a way that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just think it's ingenious. Um, and I, I love that they've done this. It also looks it looks kind of badass. It looks kind of cool, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they said it's like it's very similar to human skin with the flexibility and the movement. And the thing is, you know, when we see this when they uh, attach limbs and when they, after limbs have been cut off or, or mm -hmm. lost in battle, like they attach these. They, the technology keeps increasing every year about how much more. Uh, similar to an actual limb they're trying to get with these attachments. So mm -hmm. it's no surprising that something like tilapia is being used so they can almost simulate human skin, because I'm sure it mentally it helps the victim as well, seeing, uh, moving and feeling something like skin on their arm or on their body, or wherever they're burnt. And so that mentally they heal, they feel better and they heal quicker. You know, the power of the mind is, is has been documented many times helping with uh, a lot of healing situations. I wonder if it's a shock for people to look down and see what looks to be a fish scale <laughs> coating Maybe. them. But then also, I, I'm speaking from the outside, yeah. I think it looks cool, but I'm 
talking from someone who likes to look at cosplay and <laughs> stuff like that. Would you ever opt for tilapia skin if uh, human skin grafts were not available? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more. <laughs>